Okay, welcome back ladies to my channel. So today's topic was a requested uh, topic about gowns, okay? So some ladies wanted to know what stripper gowns look like and what kind of gowns um, do some of these clubs require when they ask you to bring a full-length gown or maybe they are just gowns that have to just come down well, then it would be a dress, but some places require you to have dresses down to your knees or um, some kind of certain length requirement depending on where you work. Some clubs require gowns for special events. Um, some places might have like maybe anniversary parties. Uh, maybe they're having a special, maybe like a golf outing event going on. Maybe they're having um, some kind of celebrity come in or a feature dancer come. And, you know, you just never know. Um, it's always good to keep a, a gown in your arsenal if you plan on doing this for a while. Um, the only problem, I don't really have an, a recommendation of where to buy a gown because all of these gowns that I have were made for me. I did not buy them off of a rack or on a website. Um, I come from the days where uh, we had a lady that would come to our clubs and actually handmade clothing, okay? Or you could go to her house and pick out a fabric and sit there and design something with her tailored to your body type. So I, some of these gowns, you know, you're not gonna be able to find like online or something like that. My best recommendation would be maybe to find a really good seamstress um, and then maybe go to her and explain that, you know, you need um, a floor length gown or whatever and see if they are comfortable with making that kind of outfit. Uh, I know when the lady that we had uh, stopped doing uh, making gowns or making clothing for uh, dancers, it was really hard to find good clothing after that that would last a long time. All of the clothes that were made for me or that I bought from um, our seamstress have lasted me forever. They are the only clothes that I, I held on to that stayed together and they were quality. I noticed that anytime you bought clothing from um, like a adult store or uh, online is always poor quality. It would always rip or shred or you would literally be able to wear it for maybe like a month before it would break. So I highly recommend if you can to find somebody that can sew clothing for you because it will save you so much money and frustration in the long run because you're going to have good quality clothes that will last you that you will not have to replace. Because um, these clothes even though I might not be able to wear them every day, I am definitely never going to get rid of them because they are uh, well made and uh, they're made for me. So I'm going to show you ladies um, a couple different gowns that I have and in no particular order, the first couple are just going to be the ones that are floor length, just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, so this one is just a black dress with a white slit in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but there we go. So it's just got this like white slit in the back, okay? And the front has got those openings. So it's a halter top, okay? So it goes around like this. And it's, um, it opens up here. So this is the opening. So this part probably sits like right by, um, like right by above or below your belly button maybe. And I always had matching gloves with my gowns. Uh, I was just a glove person. I mean, it's not like totally necessary, but I just thought it made, it made the outfit. So then I, I had those made too so they would match. So this, these are really easy to get made too. Like this would never, this would not be something that would be difficult if you asked um, a seamstress to make. They're just uh, gloves with the little, the finger hold. 
and they just go up. So yeah, I was a big I was big into getting gloves with all my gowns. So so that's the first one, and then the second one was um, I always like to kind of keep the theme um, going with the gold. I don't know if that was just because of my name, but I just really liked gold colors. So this one is a one arm dress, okay. And it's floor length again, and it's just, it has a side slit, and it's got another little piece that hangs down. And it is floor length, like I said. So if I were to stand up real quick and just show you. Yeah, so really pretty, um, very sparkly, looks really good on stage, P picks up the light really well. You know, it's really important too, like, if your club is really big on stage lighting and there's a lot of, like, purple and blue lights, sp anything sparkly like this will pick up the light so nicely and make you look so good on stage. So there's that one. And then the other, this, now this one was like the first gown I ever made, I ever wore. This was like my, like, fresh, like, rookie dress, as I like to call it. And again, I kind of went with the gold theme. And it's kind of, it's worn, so the gold is kind of wearing off. But this, again, was a halter. So it, go, it was kind of like a choker halter, which I liked. And then it has... Like I said, this part goes around your neck, and it was just a regular dress. It had side, um, it has side slits, so both sides, and again, floor length, and it's just all gold. Really pretty, simple, went with my name, um, looked good on my body type. Back in those days, I was a lot thinner, too, so um, nowadays, I probably would have picked something a little bit more. Um, like less with the slits and maybe more um, maybe more fitted in the middle but yeah so just really pretty I liked simpler things I never did patterns or anything like that I think patterns depending are too busy for like that kind of situation so just the simpler more elegant Colors, like I said, sparkly. Sparkles always pick up really well uh, in the club lighting. Now, this gown, I wouldn't really consider it a gown, but this is a good dress for um, a club. Maybe you don't need floor-length gowns, but you just need something that's in between. So this is just a tube dress, and I could wear it for both. It could be considered both because uh, <laughs> I kind of cheated and had this, little tail part put on so it's it goes all the way almost to the ground so there's one in front and then there's one in back so it just hangs like that and then the front has got the same piece it just hangs down and it's just black just simple and cute. Uh, you could wear um, the gloves with it too again because they were black and white. So you could do that too. But just simple, easy to put on and off. Um, like I said, it could go either way. It could work at a gown club. It could work at uh, just a club that wants you to wear a dress that covers your butt. So that's always a good one to keep too in case uh, you might need it. Especially if you work in higher end clubs. Uh, bigger clubs, chain places, you know, um, places that are gentlemen's clubs versus strip clubs. Um, if some girls like to wear gowns no matter what kind of clubs they work at. You know, there are girls I have seen that, you know, just want to wear gowns, and that's that's fine, too. There's nothing wrong with that. Um now, I know some people have asked me, too, like, okay, Egypt, like, how do I get out of a gown? Like, how do I take a gown off and make it look 
sexy. So there's a couple ways of taking a gown off that looks elegant without you tripping over yourself or falling over. So the importance of finding a gown that's easy to take off is really important. So this is why I like the idea of making a gown or having one made for you instead of buying one because then you can control how, um, like, like what type of um, dress it is because some of them are easier than others. Like you don't want a gown that has a zipper or buttons or anything like that. You need something that just has ties. Um, maybe it's a tube top. Tube, tube dresses or tube tops are always really good um, at getting rid of or just um, stripping in. I recommend those if your body looks good in, in tube dresses. I recommend just getting tube dresses. If you need more support, halter tops are perfect. If you can just find a dress like this or like that, the um, the gold one or both of my gold ones, um, even with just the one arm that is perfect. But even just like this kind of thing, like if it's Velcro, Velcro is really stripper friendly. Um, and that way, what you would do is, especially, and this is too if you didn't want to take your gown completely off, maybe you're just self-conscious or maybe you just don't want to take it off because it's the club is packed and you don't have time to actually just sit there and take a gown off. So what I would do is after it's been tied, I would just pull the tie, let it's going to hang down because it's going to stay because it's that material. So you're just going to pop it down and it's going to stay on your waist. Now, if you're at a full nude club, all you would do is pull your panties off and this will still stay on. That's all you have to do. And you, it's not going to look ridiculous or anything like that. If you wanted to take it completely off, what I would do is after after being tied, I would pull the tie, let it fall down, shimmy it down, okay, so you just kind of like this, but go up to a wall and do this. If your stage is up against a wall, um, or there's a wall behind it, or something you can lean on that's away from the crowd, then that's what I would do. I would go up to the wall, hold up, hold myself against the wall, and shimmy the dress down, Okay. Um, I wouldn't recommend like kicking it off with your shoe or trying to like crouch down and do it. Just shimmy it down until it gets to the bottom and then do it that way while you're holding yourself. Because if you do it on the pole or you do it um, somewhere where you have like nothing to really lean against or where you're close to the crowd, it does, it kind of looks awkward and ridiculous. So I would always go to the back of the stage um, and then just go shimmy it down and then come back to the pole in the crowd is how I would do it. Uh, it looks more elegant and then that way you can go, you can like neatly like fold the dress or hang it if there's a place to hang it, like maybe there's a railing nearby or something, um, if you don't want to just like throw it on the floor. So if you ladies have any further questions, feel free to leave them below and we will see you in the next video.